Hello. I'm going to take a few minutes and introduce you to the different types of cards in the new card game Gone Caving. Gone Caving is a card game for two to six people where you will get to explore a cave, discover new passages, observe animals, and find really cool geological formations. You'll have to deal with various challenges that arise by squeezing through tight passages, climbing steep cave walls, or being prepared for an impending emergency. I'm going to be showing you these cards inside a virtual reality environment because early on in the project, we made use of VR extensively to try out new ideas and playtest the game without having the expense of printing prototype decks. It also allowed us to playtest with members of the team even when we weren't in the same physical location. Anyhow, I'd like to go through the different types of cards that are in this game. So the, the essential goal of the game is to survey different passages of caves. The more cave passage that you're able to survey, the more points you get, and whoever has the most points in the end wins. There are different types of cards that allow you to do that. So as you are, as you are exploring caves, you might come across different obstacles or different sort of uh, challenges. So these red cards represent challenges. So this particular card is a vertical passage, which means you have to stop exploring your cave until you find the, the resolving card that will take care of this. And in this case, that would be a card that is rope. So we have a rope card that would allow you to climb the vertical passage. So if this card is placed on you by another player, you have to stop exploring until you can resolve that. This is another one called Sump, and that one's resolved by the scuba tank. And then this is the third type of uh, challenge card called Too Tight. This doesn't actually stop you. You'll see that it actually just restricts the amount of passage that you can explore at any given time. So um, it slows you down. And then these are the uh, resolution cards. So if you uh, ever get a challenge placed on you, you're going to need one of these green cards. And all of these resolution type cards are green to help you identify those visually. So you will place the appropriate resolution card onto the challenge card to remove that challenge from you. The borehole is a special one because this will remove any challenge, like any type of challenge that you have. So it's not tied to a particular challenge card. Okay. So now we're into the, the types of heroes. So you can, you can assume a role in this game. If you have one of these cards in your hand and you play it down, um, there's the biologist, there's the cartographer, and then there's the geologist. So if you have one of these three types of hero cards and you play that down, any section of uh, cave passage that you have explored that has the matching symbol for your hero will be worth double the points that is written on the card. So these are great to really give your points a boost like halfway through the game or whenever you're able to play these out. And then there's a secondary type of hero card. We have the skinny caver, the vertical caver, and the cave diver. So these, if you play out, uh, give you an immunity to those challenge cards that I showed you earlier. So if you have the Cave Diver card, um, that means nobody can play the Sump card on you because you are prepared to deal with any kind of underground water. Uh, then there's the Skinny Caver, which uh, prevents the too tight spaces, and the Vertical Caver, which prevents the vertical passage. So those are powerful cards to be able to play out uh, if you get them. All right, so these yellow cards here, you might uh, be traveling through the cave and encounter an emergency. So they're yellow. They'll have the exclamation point icon. And this is something that you basically have to deal with right away. So as you're drawing your card for your turn, if you draw one of these, you need to stop what you're doing. You're forced to play that card that turn instead of choosing one from your hand. That's your turn, and when it comes back around to you, then your turn is taking care of the trash. So you have to throw out the trash, and there are a couple of different types of these emergency cards. There's Lost in the Dark, um, which is just a little bit more severe, 
because basically you will lose your next turn, but you also lose two cards from your hand. And then the, the most severe one is the need a rescue card, which makes you lose your turn, and you also lose your entire hand and have to draw a new hand. So now there's the footprints cards, which if you have in your hand, you can play to essentially claim a passage that somebody else has already claimed. So if somebody has laid out a section of passage, you can play the footprints and say, you know what, you say you've explored that passage, but I was there before you. These are my footprints. And then you take their passage card and put it in your play space. And now we're coming to the passage type cards. Um, before you can even start exploring your cave, you have to find an entrance to your cave. So you'll, you'll find one of these entrance cards and you can play that out. They are worth a section of a passage, so they're worth 10 points essentially. And once you have a, an entrance card played, you can start playing out passages. And you'll notice that they'll have the length of passage and then you'll, you'll see the icon for the type of passage it is. So this one's an animal's passage. Then uh, we have the exit cards. This is the end game trigger. So essentially um, you want to be playing out passages and you can, you can get an exit card and hold on to it and wait for the right time. So when you think you have more points than everybody else, you will play an exit card to make that the last round of the game. And then here are the different types of passages. So they have different values. Um, they go from 25 up to, all the way up to 200. There's a big room that's got, uh, it's a 200 meter point value. Um, so you're gonna see the, um, the distance, which is the points value, the type of passage it is, and it'll also say the type of passage here. This is a survey passage. And then 25 animals passage. Now we're in the 50s of all the different types. 75. And then 100. And you'll see as the numbers get bigger, we have fewer of those cards in the deck. And then here's the one and only big room, uh, which is worth 200 points if you can lay it out and have nobody else claim it back from you with a footprints card. So those are all the cards in the Gone Caving game, and uh, I really hope that you get excited about this game and, and decide you'd like to back us on Kickstarter. Um, the proceeds of this game, so any net profits that don't go towards printing the game and, and sending them to you, are going to be uh, donated to the NSS. So um, this is for a good cause. It's going to... Um, help preserve caves for future generations and hopefully give you a good way to teach your friends about caving and uh, in a fun and uh, very simple way. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the caves.